Hey, what's up you guys? So this is obviously a string replacement video. I'm gonna be replacing the string off of that TRX model boat behind me right there. It's a super simple process, but if you clicked on the video, I'm assuming you either don't know how to do it or you're just showing your support for me by coming to the video, watching it, leaving a comment, doing all that fun stuff. So I really appreciate those of you that do that, but we will jump into this and get it done and we will get back to shooting. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do before you start removing the string off of your bow is measure everything. You cannot over measure stuff on your system, especially if it's set up the way that you want it to be set up. So the main things that I focus on is my axle to axle, brace height, draw length, loop length, peep sight height, uh, knocking point, timing, nose button or kisser button or both, uh, draw weight and holding weight. So those are all affected by a string so you can adjust all of that stuff by putting twists in or out of your string and, or where it's positioned on the string. So I always want to make sure that I get that stuff written down so that if when I put the new string on all I have to do is put everything back exactly the way it was and I'm good to go. I can go right outside and start shooting. Alright, so one of the steps you're going to have to take is only if you have served end loops on the end of your new strings. You're going to have to pull this screw off of your cable guard and pull this rod out so that you can get your cables to sit in the right position. So we're going to go ahead and pull this out and then I'll get to the next step in a second. Alright, so we got that piece pulled. So the next thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and take a short video panning from one cam down your strings through your cable guard and then into the other cam so that you can see for future reference how the strings are set up on one side, how they run through the cable guard and how they're connected on the other side so that if something happens and everything doesn't line up correctly you can refer back to that video and it's a simple easy fix. Alright so we're finally set up to start replacing the string. We're going to go ahead and start with our cable that's on the actual roller bearing system. We're going to go ahead and start removing this plastic cable guard off of the old cable so that we can replace it onto the new one. So we'll set that to the side. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and remove that cable. Try to keep from adding or subtracting any twists from the string or cable as you're removing them. Okay. Alright, so here's the new cable. Alright, so one important thing to watch when replacing the strings for these TRX series bows is to make sure that when you're replacing the cable that goes on this bearing system that you're not adding twists to this part of the string because that's gonna also affect your draw length and your holding weight slash draw weight. All right, so let's go ahead and install this cable. So we're gonna leave it just like that for just a second. We're gonna go ahead and connect it to the other side just to get it out of our hands. Through there. Okay. So now we got those in the right position. Now let's go ahead and fix this end here. Alright, so now that we got that side done, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Go ahead and move that plastic clip. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so let's go ahead and install the new cable. Give it a little bit of tension. Make sure everything's in its tracks. Okay. All right guys, so we got the hard part done. We got the cables installed. The last thing you're gonna wanna do before you go on, move on to the string is go ahead and replace those clips on both sides of your cams to protect the cable from your actual cam and then go ahead and replace your bar on your cable guard and then we'll get into replacing the string. All right, so we'll pop these back on here. Then we'll go ahead and replace our cable guard piece. And then we'll go ahead and start on the string. So we're gonna go ahead and just remove the string completely. We'll set that to the side. Go ahead and put the new one on. Alright, so once you got the tension back into your strings, you're going to want to go ahead and make sure that all of your strings and cables are tracked properly on your cams and that they're all connected to the eyelets. Alright, well that's pretty much it guys. The only thing left to do is to start adding accessories to your string, like your knocking points, your loop, your peep sight, your nose button, your kisser button, whatever it may be that you want to add to your string. Uh, I already have a video online on tying in knocking points and loops, so I'll add a link to that. And then I will also add a link for tying in your peep site because I already have a video online for that as well. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope it was able to help somebody out there out. Uh, if you don't mind, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, do all that fun stuff. And save this video to your watch later list so the next time you are replacing your strings, you can follow along with it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time.